Hello Polygoners, welcome to our resource video list. This video is mostly going to be to integrate you into the world of StarCraft to help you find what you're looking for, to give you some ideas of what even you could be looking for. This is going to go through the most common community resources, and I'm sure that there's going to be some on this list that some of the older, more experienced players watching this video don't agree with, or maybe they think something else should be on there. It's the type of thing that's always going to be subjective, but if you think for any reason there's something I missed, please drop it in the comments below. I might make a part two of this video if we get enough responses. However, this is my list. So let's say you've been training a little bit, you're getting better, and you're ready to compete. And we're not just talking competing for MMR on the ladder for ladder points. You're ready to play in tournaments, but you're not sure where to find them. There's actually a lot of great resources out there, and one of the best places to find that information is really just TeamLiquid.net. Just about anything you could want is available on this website. Easily one of the best places to find tournaments to participate in would be the StarCraft II tournaments subsection. You can click here on tourneys to get here. And some of these are going to be like high level events like the IEM Pyongyang qualifiers. But even for lower level players, even bronze level players, there's sometimes like weekly events and stuff like that that you guys can participate in that limits you based on like what league you're in or even what division. This is also a great resource for tournaments to watch. Uh, for example, again, you know, right here it shows you where you can watch, where you can watch the VODs, anything along those lines. Another great place that perhaps some people overlook is this upcoming events section over here. So basically this is going to be like the future events and you can see 49 minutes OSC and so on and so forth up to like an hour away. So this is the future of the StarCraft events. You can hit show more and get more information, but we're going to come back to this. So we'll get to that soon. This is Liquipedia results. We'll actually look at Liquipedia a little bit later, but you could think of this as past events. So here's future, here's past. If we scroll up here, these are the live streams. So this is the present. Now, there will be tournaments, um, but right now you can see that there's a lot of just pro players streaming what's going on. 1,408 people for Jadong at 4.15 in the morning. Not too bad. And of course, there's one other place worth checking for more StarCraft events, and that's the calendar up here on the top left. If you click this button, it will actually list you all the events for every game. So like maybe you like StarCraft and other games too, but I'm a StarCraft supremacist. So let's come over here to StarCraft 2. I could even come here and choose like specific events. As you can see right now, these are all the different StarCraft events just this week. So these are things you could play in if um, you're eligible, or just go watch your favorite players play in. There's always something to be watching at any time. StarCraft is an amazing community with lots of active players, despite what you sometimes may hear. And we welcome you to our family. So thank you for joining us. This is what we have to offer. Check out the calendar. And if you uh, happen to join one of those streams, you see a player that you absolutely idolize. Well, you could always come here and see when they're streaming. Um, or, you know, get, get a link to them. But let's just say that you couldn't do that or didn't do that or for some reason that's not possible, right? How would you go about seeing more of this player's personality, playstyle, and performance? You'd want, of course, find their stream. Let's just say the player was, I don't know, um, let's just say Tempo. He's awesome. So we would go to his Liquipedia and we could either type it in directly like I did there or you could just go to teamliquid.net wiki.teamliquid.net and then slash starcraft2 that's going to take you to the main page and then you can search out tempo from there either way what you want to do is come down here to where it says links which is usually going to be under a player picture and look for the twitch icon and then you can click it from there that's a great way to find uh, their streams one of the main reasons you would want to watch someone stream is that a first person point of view can actually really help your execution if you're nitpicking the reason why players do what they do. So maybe like in your own games, you wish you had a better way of splitting units off to Zelnaga Towers so you could take control of those. Well, maybe you see a player do something that you think is awesome in order to do it, and you can start doing that now in your own games. 
That's the type of technique you might would learn from a first person point of view. It's a little bit harder, though not impossible by any means, to learn like the overarching meta strategy and such like that from just like someone playing on the fly and maybe not delving too deep into the strategy. Some players can do that, but usually it's hard to think and play. Those are usually um, like to think about what's going on and talk about it. And then while playing the game, usually those are kind of separate. There are actually some great streamers out there. Um, for I'm going to recommend actually play pretty much all of the races at any given time. But Pig, Loco, Nero, and Windsor are all four really constant, consistent streamers. All four of them also run YouTube channels where they pick some of the best parts of their stream. So you can actually go to their Liquipedia right now and go find either their YouTube or their Twitch, what, depending on whether or not you want to be a live participant and they're streaming, or if you want to go study something in particular. Loco usually does like meta analysis and new strategies and build orders. Pig typically looks at themes. Um, Winter's more of like an entertainment style streamer and Nero's, he's kind of like one of the smartest players in StarCraft, really, really logical, analytical, and so you've got like a really good mix there but of course there's tons of streamers and there's someone for everyone so liquipedia is definitely one of the best ways to find out more information about your favorite players also where to find them on twitch you can also of course find their twitter this is uh youtube facebook all his songs trivia there's so much information on liquipedia if you wanted like an encyclopedia of starcraft personalities this is definitely the place to be now we did identify a little bit of why first person point of view can be a bit of a problem for learning certain parts of the game the remedy to that is getting into the replays of your favorite players now that sounds way harder than it actually is. There are some great community resources out there that where you can download your favorite player's replays, current meta, everything, and then start using their build. We won't talk about taking notes and how to write your notes or how to use what you write to improve your own game in this video. We're just going to talk about obtaining the replays. Stay tuned later for a video on replay analysis. One of the best places to go find replays would definitely be spawningtool.com. This is run by a guy named Morn, really awesome active player in the community. As you can see, he's already got listed different build orders, Railgan, a uh, very active Zerg player. So let's click here and you can actually see some of the build orders as well as the replays. There's a description, there's a VOD, all kinds of information. This is again, hands down one of the best websites out there. You can even go here to replays, sort by event by build order by just about any damn thing you'd want so let you guys play with the searches there but it's a really awesome website usually stays pretty up to date another great place to find replays would be sc 2 replaystatscom this account that i've pulled up here doesn't have any games on this account but let's go ahead and log in the cool thing about sc 2 replay stats in addition to being able to find replays here and we'll get more into that in a moment is that once you start uploading your own replays to the website it'll start recommending how many games it wants you to play a week it's only recommending five for me i've played 25 so i've done a lot more than it it recommends but you can even see like in uh, certain matchups terran versus terran because random reasons but mostly my stuff should be zerg zvz improvement apparently i'm not producing workers constantly i need to keep my supply log time down and i need to start spending resources more uh pretty much the same thing on all of these um but we could even go to individual games this one is actually when I played against Andy Man, apparently it has four suggestions for me early game. Uh, not constantly producing workers. Uh, okay. Still not constantly producing workers. Apparently my minerals were getting high. And same thing here. So you can actually look at different aspects of your gameplay. And I don't want to spend too much time reading through all of these different things. But the point is, it's going to analyze everything for you. And of course, 
right now I'm playing on an unranked account so it's not going to break it into different league specific things but if you were to be placed in the platinum it's actually going to show you how you compare to other platinum level players as well as diamond level players and that'll give you some idea of where you how you're closing the gap so the next website I want to show you actually conjoins with SC2 replay stats in a way and it's called sc2unmasked.com now once you get here there's all kinds of cool tools here you can search all the different ladders you can see what the best teams are there's a lot to play around with but for our purposes we're going to keep this very limited let's say I want to go to America uh, the American server and I want to see the top you know 100 GMs just clicking right here under ladder rankings will take me there now this is going to list the best GMs on the ladder as it's reflected on Battle.net right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of different information. Uh, MMR, of course, is important. Win percentage is always important. Um, a lot of this information can be very, very fascinating. But in keeping this very limited, let's just take a quick look here at this SC2 Replay Stats logo. And we'll take out these top three. See what that gives us. So that account didn't have any games on it. These replays are hidden. Here we go. We've got one here. And this is Puck's account. He's the th uh, top three GM. So you can actually go through and all of these games were played pretty much on this patch. And it's only going to keep a certain number of games. So I check this website often. But of course you can download all of his games. See what he's doing right. What he's doing wrong. Um, copy build orders. Like these games versus game time I'm sure are going to be really interesting. He's had a great series with game time over the last few weeks. Just they've been training constantly together. I, uh, phenomenal games. And they can be yours. And you can download them. And you can watch them. And you can steal their build orders. And you can get good too. You can also find tournament replays because these are just replays that either got automatically uploaded from ladder or practice games or that they chose to upload so there's an inherent bias here but if you want uh, replays from events they tend to be released after the event sometimes significantly after the event so you can get older metas in these well the easiest way to find out if a new event is going to be releasing replays well of course you already know the events happening because you're checking the calendar like we discussed earlier and then you would just keep your eye out on Team Liquid, which of course, that's going to be part of the discussion usually in the forums. Another place you could check would be the myriad subreddits dedicated to StarCraft. The most common one of course is r slash StarCraft. Best place to go is the um, new tab. So r slash StarCraft, click new right here, it's going to bring you to this page. And as long as you're checking this like once a day or whatever, you'll usually see all the replays that come through. Twitter is another good place, although you have to be following the account. Sometimes it'll get shared among your community. But, you know, if you know how to use Twitter, go for it. You already know how to find your favorite players, your favorite casters, anyone like that. So go build your own network. But until you build that network, it's maybe not the best. Reddit is a lot less buy-in investment. There's actually one other great place to find replays from events. And this is sc2rep.ru. I believe it's a Russian website. Click here, only pro replays. Hit find, because anyone can upload here. And then it lists the league. So this is, was WESG 2017 Europe. And of course, that's going to go back pretty deep for pages. So let's just hit seven over here and see, see how deep this goes. And see, now we're down to Home Story Cup. So you get your major events through this website. It can save you a lot of work. In addition to slash r slash starcraft though there's some other racial specific subreddits of course i like all things zerg which is you know all things zerg.com or reddit.com slash r slash all things zerg you can go to it just like this go and see it takes you right there and then there's some other great resources down here. These are some great build orders. Definitely something I'd check out as these are very general tips, very safe build orders. And it even shows you like what you can be scouting for. So this is a great resource for starting players just to come here and get some ideas. And then if you have specific questions, you can post them here by hitting new post. Some of the more common questions uh, and all kinds of things like for example, Neuro just made my day. Zerg gameplay, defending ZVZ cheese. 
Not sure what that's about, but you could click it and find out. There are so many community resources a knowledgeable player could take advantage of. You could be that knowledgeable player. You could go from being bronze this month, diamond next month, grandmaster the month after that. All you have to do is take the knowledge that is freely available by finding it and then using it. I've given you everything you need to know to find the information. It's up to you now to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this, please hit that like button. Please follow us on Twitter at PolygonSC2. I am at the only shaft also on Twitter. If you like conspiracy theory tweets, motivational tweets, and StarCraft tweets as well, not to mention everything in between, that's the one to follow. Otherwise, just check out the official PolygonSC2 Twitter for information on new videos, new events that we're running, anything along those lines. Guys, you can also become a patron if you like this content and want to support us in our future projects at Patreon patreon.com slash polygon sc2 if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button until next time guys shout out my dudes if you want to be notified when we release videos like this please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't know where that is i'm not going to teach you how to use the internet there's probably no hope for you